All right, you guys, so welcome back to another Black Series review. Uh, today, we are going to get a look at the Black Series Star Wars The Mandalorian Trapper Wolf exclusive figure. Okay, so First video of the new year for 2022. Uh, so hopefully this will be the start of a lot of good things coming down the pipe, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get a look at this exclusive box that we have for this particular figure, guys. So starting with the cover of the box, we have our Star Wars logo with the Black Series logo. And then we have a very cool illustration of a X-Wing fighter in the black shading, which is really, really cool. And then of course we have our Star Wars, the Mandalorian banner, warning label, four and up Hasbro logo, guys. Let's get a look at the side of the box. So getting you a look at the side of the box, guys, we have some really, really cool illustrations here uh, with our Dave Filoni, AKA Trapper Wolf figure. And if you don't know, Dave Filoni is one of the showrunners, uh, not only for The Mandalorian, but also for great series such as The Clone Wars, Rebels. Uh, and then of course, now we have The Mandalorian, as well as the book of Boba Fett, guys. And my reaction to episode one of the book of Boba Fett is up on the channel if you wanna check that out, guys. So please do go ahead and check that out. Uh, and then, of course, with our illustration, we have, again, our uh, figure, a.k.a. Dave Filoni in real life, a.k.a. Trapper Wolf in the series. Very, very nice illustration of our figure. And then, of course, at the top, we have uh, his initial appearance in the series uh, where he's flying his X-Wing uh, into what I believe is a lone space station, uh, which is run by some renegades, uh, former colleagues of the Mandalorian, and uh, they happen to show up right on time. Uh, to destroy a very dangerous uh, weapon that I believe that they have. And I forget what the weapon is exactly. It's been a little while since I've seen that episode, but I do recall uh, that they were about to deploy a very dangerous weapon uh, to destroy the Razor Crest and the Mandalorian as they were escaping. And of course, Trapper Wolf and the other X-Wing fighters from the Republic show up to uh, kind of destroy that vehicle. And uh, that's kind of what leads them on the trail of the Razor Crest, who they will uh, catch up with later on in season two. But a uh, really, really cool illustration there uh, from that particular episode on the box there. That is some really cool stuff. For the back of the box, not much there. We just have our Star Wars logo, Black Series logo, Star Wars, the Mandalorian banner, which wraps all the way around the box with some of our Disney information and Hasbro logo. And then on the other side of the box, we have the X-Wing fighter, which wraps around from the front. And then when you pull the insert out, uh, you have a very good look at your figure, his weapon and his helmet, uh, which is really, really awesome. And of course you have your Trapper Wolf there at the bottom. Uh, and uh, it's just really, really cool Black Series logo. In the uh, white uh, shaded with an off-white Black Series logo. Uh, very nice presentation uh, with your figure in the box. It's really, really cool stuff. All right, guys, so we're gonna pull our figure out of the box and get a look at all of the accessories that come with our figure, our articulation detail, and then of course, uh, we're gonna get a couple of photos, uh, maybe a very quick diorama uh, of our figure with the background that we have displayed here, guys. So please do stay tuned. All right, you guys, and we have our Trapper Wolf figure out of the box and he is looking absolutely amazing. I really do love this figure, uh, specifically because it is Dave Filoni. And, uh, you know, it's very cool to get a figure with the face of uh, one of the guys that I admire so much uh, in Star Wars who's brought us so much great content. And uh, for him to be playing one of the characters in one of the features of Star Wars, uh, and then to uh, get a actual figure of Dave Filoni uh, or the character Trapper Wolf, uh, it's just really cool. And I, I, I really enjoyed this a lot, guys. So let's get a closer look at our Trapper Wolf figure. So getting you a look at Trapper Wolf, he is just absolutely amazing. Lots of very nice details, specifically on the helmet uh, and a very, very cool weapon to uh, come with him as well. 
uh, a very unusual weapon. I don't believe it's a weapon that we usually get with our uh, pilots, but a uh, very, very nice weapon and a uh, very cool detail. You have his pilot's uniform. Uh, obviously he is a Republic pilot, X-Wing fighter pilot. And I love the face scope. They did a very, very good job with the face scope uh, capturing Dave Filoni's likeness decently, I think. Uh, so uh, really, really good job there. And then of course he is definitely in character as Trapper Wolf uh, with the pilot's uniform. Uh, our standard uh, rebel or Republic pilot uniform in the orange. So very, very nice job by Hasbro there. And he is a really, really cool looking figure. So getting you a look at the articulation with our Trapper Wolf figure, it's gonna give you a straight arm like so. You get a very, very good elbow bend. Of course you have your 360 all the way around. Your twist is in the elbow. You also have a twist in the wrist as well. There is a up and down hinge in your right wrist. Your left wrist is gonna give you a back and forth hinge in the left wrist. Trapper Wolf is gonna give you an excellent T pose. He's gonna kick out like so. Gives you a very, very nice knee high. He's gonna go back about that far. His widest stance is gonna be about that far. You have a twist there in the thigh. There's a twist in the thigh. You also have a twist at the knee, at the knee, just underneath the knee there. In the ankle area, he's gonna go down about that far. He's gonna go up about that far, so very nice. And then of course you do have your rocker that goes back and forth. In the ab area, he's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. He has a fairly decent range in the midsection. You do have a, a little bit of left to right it's your left to right in the waist or midsection there, the torso. In the head area, he's gonna go down about that far, up about that far. Of course, you have your left to right, which is really good. And a bit of the head nod. Very nice articulation with your Black Series Trapper Wolf figure. And getting you a look at the accessories that come with your Trapper Wolf figure, you're getting some really, really nice accessories. Obviously with the Pilot, you're getting a very, very nice helmet, a really, really nice design on the helmet. Just really, really cool stuff. I really like all of the design, everything that we have here on the helmet. Just really, really nice stuff. You'll look at the back of the helmet. This is very, very nice, very, very nice design with your Republic symbol on either side. So really cool stuff. And then of course you have his weapon here as well. A very good look at the weapon. And I can't recall uh, a pilot coming with a uh, large rifle before. Um, very unusual, but I could be mistaken. Maybe one of our other Republic pilots, this same weapon, and I just can't recall. Uh, but no real paint apps to uh, speak of. Uh, just a matte black finish on your weapon. Uh, very nice detail on the weapon though, and a uh, very nice size weapon. So very, very cool uh, accessory to come with your Trapper Wolf figure. So getting you guys a look at the helmet on the figure. And as you can see, I actually broke the chin strap, getting it out of the packaging. Uh, but I think it is something I can fix, but um, I still wanted to get you guys a look at the helmet out of the packaging on the figure. Very, very cool, very nice looking stuff there. Very All awesome. right, you guys, and to get you a comparison to some of the other pilots uh, that we've received in the six inch Black Series line, guys, uh, and I definitely wanted to give you a look at some of the Republic or New Republic pilots uh, that we received uh, previously in the line. As you can see, there is most definitely a difference between the color of the flight suit between our pilots, uh, as you can see, Trapper Wolf tends to have more of the Rebel pilot colors uh, as opposed to the New Republic uh, colors, which seem to be more of a burnt orange uh, color uh, versus the more brighter color. So as you can see, there is a real difference between the color contrast between the uh, two different types of uniforms. 
Uh, obviously, they chose to put Dave Filoni in something that's closer to the original color or the original trilogy color uh, of the flight suit uh, versus the New Republic era flight suit. Uh, however, the character is obviously depicted uh, in the New Republic era uh, in regards to the Mandalorian. So, um, or it could be a transition period uh, when probably previous to the New Republic suits that we see Poe and our Asti pilot, uh, you see those two individuals with the darker color. So uh, that may be the explanation for the difference in color between what Filoni is wearing now, five years after the events of Return of the Jedi. And then of course, I believe what we see Poe and Asti uh, wearing is some 30 years after the events of Return of the Jedi. So uh, again, that could be the explanation on why you see such a vast uh, difference in the color between the two uniforms. I, I don't know that for sure. Uh, I just That's just my assumption uh, based off of what I'm looking at here. But there is your comparison uh, between uh, the different flight suits that we have there and uh, very, very cool stuff. And again, I really think this is a very awesome addition to uh, the pilots in the six inch line, guys. Very, very cool stuff. So now we're gonna get our figure in a very cool diorama, guys. So stay tuned. Trapper Wolf six inch exclusive figure in the Black Series line, guys. Very cool to have this figure. If you're a fan of Dan Filoni, uh, I would say this uh, figure is a must have. Uh, and of course, if you're a fan of the Mandalorian, uh, obviously he is a character in the Mandalorian and uh, you most definitely would wanna have this guy included in your collection if you are a collector again of the mandalorian figure so a uh, really really cool figure and it's a very awesome figure uh, to have in your collection just as awesome as having your george lucas stormtrooper uh so i'm still waiting for that particular figure to come in so can't wait to get that guy in as well uh so very nice figure guys really enjoy having this guy and of course it's always nice to have an additional pilot to include with your other pilots guys let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this particular figure have you picked up your trapper wolf exclusive figure from hasbro post guys and what do you think about this guy i think it's absolutely awesome and again another great addition to your pilot core uh, for your New Republic pilots, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to the OB1 Force Ghost. May the Force be with you.